right, this is Scott coming at you from the Tackle Shop here at Saltwater Scale Models. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for uh, all their comments on my last two videos. Uh, you know, especially the slideshow, I got a lot of great response. It really means a lot, but I realized that uh, the final video, I missed commenting on everybody. I skipped a video, so I apologize for that, and I've read through them, uh, and just re it really means a lot. I, I don't want you to think that I was uh, ignoring you. So this is going to be a quick update on the Revell 67 Plymouth GTX, as you can see. Uh, so far, so good. You know, sometimes it just gets good to you, and um, I've been having a lot of fun with this kit. It did have some issues, uh, not with the kit, but with the tires. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, the undercarriage, the tires, and the engine are installed. Um, they are Pegasus Pegasus tires. Uh, the deal is, I, I, what, what I, I'll never understand with Pegasus tires are the ins, insert holes are so small. There, there's not a kit out there where the axle and the suspension pins uh, fit inside of the tires. So I had to actually, you know very carefully drill them out as wide as I could without going through without cracking them and they did fit onto the insert pins but as I suspected uh, they uh, uh, they stuck out too wide for the body so what I had to do is I basically just cut the pins directly off and glued them right to the right to the suspension you know I mean I guess I could have cut this pins off and put the pins back on but um, all I use is the BSI you know Bob Smith and it uh, it works great so um, it actually worked out because you can tell I got the, the stance a little I, I got to raise the back a little basically I just put one tire on a time on at a time let it dry and then line the other ones up it's a little uh, it's a little tricky but um, you know all four on the ground stance is great so that went really well uh, engine uh, I assume this is just Plymouth orange I'm not a huge you know I don't know all the colors for the cars but I just followed the instructions uh, went together really great looks nice nothing nothing out of the ordinary didn't wire this one um, so that's that this is what's going on this is the good stuff the body is turning out amazing. This is, uh, I'll just put it here just, just, uh, just, just, just for a, whoa, for a start. Um, this is the, the Pavo Purple from House of Color. Um, it is, has gone on beautiful. This is, uh, three coats and I've got two coats of Duplicolor, uh, paint shop clear out of the court can the, in the, in the airbrush. Um, but this paint is just, gorgeous you know uh i'm gonna put on probably another three coats of, of of clear i want to get a really nice shine to it i mean already it's it's starting to brighten up and, and looking pretty sharp but uh the, i don't know if you can see the metallic in the paint but man it's gorgeous i've decided that uh i'm not going to use any other paint other than house of color it is a little expensive but considering i build like one every two months you know 18 bucks over two months isn't going to kill me so uh bare metal foil went on great I had a little issue here, uh, you can see just a little tick, um, but other than that, it went on really nice and clear and smooth, no bumps, let's show you the other side, just, just, this is probably, probably my best paint job yet, um, you know, just maybe one or two little, little dimples there, not dimples, but just a little bugaboo that, um, you know, a little booger, but not really noticeable at all, so. Uh, really really happy with this so there you go guys just want to do a quick update thanks to all my subscribers we're up to 708 which is awesome uh, I do have one other kit after this that I think uh, I'm gonna do box stock and then I think I might delve back into some of the old days where I was doing uh, you know rat rods and, and weathering I, I might try to try to break it up a little bit so anyways just wanted to catch you up on this peace love and happiness my friends thanks for watching